This little guy right here can help you transfer your files from your camera's SD card slot to an external hard drive without the use of a laptop. It can also charge your phone and act as a Wi-Fi router. And the best part? It costs less than 60 bucks. Let's take a look. As somebody who's constantly on the go, filming on location with nothing but my camera bag and whatever gear I can fit into it, one of my biggest problems has always been media management. Specifically, what do I do with my files if my SD card fills up and I need to dump my footage? Typically, what I had to do was I had to bring my laptop along with me and that is an extra three pounds on my back and plus the whole system, the whole, the whole process is just not practical. I gotta take out the laptop, boot it up, put the SD card in, put the hard drive in, transfer the files, then I gotta break everything down, shut the laptop off, throw it back in my camera bag before I can move on. It's It seems like it's a short process, but every second counts when you're out in the field and it's just, it's just annoying. And I had heard about the Narbox, which is supposed to eliminate all of that. The only problem is it's $500 and I'm typically working on a zero budget. So $500 is not something that I can afford right now. So over the holiday season, I was watching a lot of videos on, you know, budget filmmaking gear that would be good as a gift. And I came across a video by Donna Did It where he talked about the RAV Power File Hub, which is basically supposed to do everything that the Narbox does. You can transfer your files without the use of a laptop. You can charge your phone with it. And it even acts as a Wi-Fi router and it costs less than 60 bucks. It's like $56 on Amazon or something like that. So I popped on Amazon. I threw the thing in my wish list, and lo and behold on Christmas, this was wrapped up nice and neat underneath the tree. Thanks, mom. And I've been using this thing over the last few weeks. I've been testing out all of the functions and I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. This thing does everything that it advertises. It charges my phone, it acts as a Wi-Fi router. I can transfer all the files without any issues. And so I, I really, really like this thing. But before we actually dive into how to use this and what my experience has been, let's take a little bit of a tour around the RAV Power File Hub. The first thing that you're gonna notice is that this is a plastic case. It's not very rugged. It's not weatherproof or anything like that. So you don't want to go throwing this thing in the snow or in a puddle or anything. You only want to break it out when you have a nice, dry, safe place to work with. You don't want to be dropping this thing on concrete. But, you know, overall, it's not like a cheap build or anything. I'm not afraid this thing's going to fall apart in my hands. I just want to be careful with it when I actually take it out. As far as the design is concerned, it's fairly minimalist. You got one side that's got your power button. You've got another side, if I can get this door open. Word of advice, kids, don't bite your nails. You've got your USB port, you've got a micro USB port for charging the thing, and you've got an ethernet port on this side. And then if you rotate it one more time, you've got your signal selector. So you can switch between 2.4G and 5G. You've also got your SD card slot and you've got a one touch backup button, which we'll get into in just a minute. On the top, you've got your logo and a couple LED indicators to show you which mode you're in. And that's basically it. It's a fairly minimalist design. It comes in black, which is awesome. And it's small enough that I can just throw this thing in my cable organizer and throw this into my backpack and I'd be good to go. Setting up the RAV Power File Hub is super easy. You just download the app from the App Store and you connect it to the internal Wi-Fi signal of the RAV Power File Hub and you're good to go. You're good to start transferring your files, which is another easy process. You just plug in your SD card to the SD card slot. You plug in your hard drive to the USB port and you can use the app to transfer your files. Now, if for some reason you can't get into the app or you just don't wanna be bothered using the app, you can still plug in your SD card, plug in your hard drive, and you can use this SD to USB button and it'll just transfer the files automatically. The only problem with that is with the app, you can actually select which folder in your hard drive you transfer everything over to with the one touch backup button it just sends everything over and you don't have that control you can also do all the transfers wirelessly so if i'm using my phone as a b cam and i want to dump the footage from my phone onto my hard drive i can just connect the app to the 
Rav Power File Hub and I have my hard drive plugged in and I can just transfer everything over. I can even do that automatically. If I open up my camera app and I start taking photos or shooting video and I don't wanna save it to the device, I can save it directly to the hard drive, which is super cool. So there's a lot of options when it comes to transferring your files, which is the big reason why I wanted this thing. So the fact that it works so well is very, very impressive and it makes me very happy. As far as charging your phone, this thing works like any other external battery. You turn it on, you plug it in, you're good to go. It's got a 6,700 milliamp hour battery, I think. So, you know, I can charge my phone one and a half to two times from a completely depleted battery, which I'm, you know, I'm happy with that. And like I said, this thing actually acts as a Wi-Fi router as well. So if I'm in a hotel room and I don't want to deal with the hotel Wi-Fi, because we all know how much that sucks, I can take an Ethernet cable and plug it into the port in the hotel room, plug the other end into this, and I can set up my own little personal Wi-Fi signal, which is really nice. I actually tested this out in my home and it works great. I got a nice strong signal. So very, very pleased with that. This is this is kind of a total package. Now there are a couple things that I didn't really like about the RAV Power File Hub. They're kind of nitpicky, but for one, the SD card slot is very deep and you really have to push the SD card in pretty far before you can get it to seat. Actually, when I first got this thing and I was first testing it out, I was afraid that it was broken because I couldn't figure out why the SD card wasn't catching and why it wasn't seating in there properly. I thought it was busted. I thought that I was gonna have to return it, get a new one, but I figured before I do that, let me just break out the multi-tool. I popped open the screwdriver and I, you know, pressed on the SD card slot to get it in there a little bit farther and it clicked into place. So it does work. You just have to push it in kind of far. The other thing, and this is kind of my fault for not doing the research beforehand, but when I first heard about this, I thought it actually acted as an external hard drive. I thought I would be able to save my media directly to the RAV Power File Hub, and it turns out that I can't. I have to have an external hard drive with me, so I'll typically throw my little Seagate one terabyte into my bag with this, and that works fine, but I would like, you know, maybe a version of this in the future that has some internal storage, so I can just dump my footage onto this, and then when I get back to my computer, I can, you know, just plug this in, and I can dump all my footage and be good to go. And then the last thing that kind of threw me for a loop when I first got this was the fact that you actually, you have to hold down the power button in order to get this thing into transfer mode. I did not realize that, so I was like pressing the power button and it wasn't turning on and then I held it down for a little bit and only the battery mode turned on and it took me a while to figure out that you actually have to hold this down for quite a while, so I'll show you. Pressing the button. And there you go. So you gotta hold this thing down for a while. I should have read the instructions before I tested it out because that kinda, that took me a while to figure out. But all in all, I really like this thing. It does everything that it says it's gonna do, which is nice. And it eliminates the need for me to bring my laptop out in the field, which was a huge pain in the butt. Now I can leave this thing plugged in, ready to go. And when I get back from a day of shooting, I can just plug in my hard drive. The footage is already there and I can just start editing a video, which is really, really nice. I've added the RAV Power File Hub to my gear list on my website. If you wanna check that out, there's a link in the description below. And for more videos on how to make better videos, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.